This is the old engine. This is the new engine. Looking it over and decided to investigate this timing cover back being busted. And I noticed the belt's got a problem. And it's going to need changed. The hairs are sticking up on one of the teeth. So I'm going to have to change the belt on it before it fails. This motor's only supposed to have 86,000 miles on it. First thing I want to do is take this 22 millimeter crank pulley bolt out. Just get your marking pen ready because you're going to need it in here. I'm going to go ahead and mark this crank bolt on where it's at so I don't worry about torquing it. Back. Let's put it back to where it was. That's a dandy. That's nice. I'm going to take all the 10 millimeter bolts out of the cover. And pop the cover off. And since this is a used motor, it'll be handy to make sure the motor's not got a hard place in it or seized up or any kind of noise from rotating it over. At least the studs not broke off the head or stripped on it for the exhaust manifolds. I put a spacer underneath the crank bolt and run the crank bolt down and the motor is rotating in direction to tighten the crank bolt. If you're reusing the belt, put an arrow to the direction that tightening the crank bolt is going to turn. It has, if your arrows are missing off your belt, and I've rotated it around. So these two holes on either side of the crankshaft are at 9 and 3 o'clock, and that divot is at 12 o'clock, and the mark on the crank sensor sprocket is in line with that notch holding the crank sensor in place and then this little line on the outer edge of the pulley is in line with the cam bearing cap split to the head and then the little line on the face of the pulley is in line with the notch on the timing cover I'm going to take this marking pen and put a line from this mark across the pulley to in line with the cam bearing cap and do the same to the cover mark and then to the crank. Especially if you're reusing old belt. Okay, that looks extra special. And take these pulleys off. The 14 millimeters. I'm 
Make sure your surfaces are clean and flat. Don't get your pulleys mixed up if you're not putting new ones on it. This gear tooth one goes through the water pump. belt starting to fail never bend your belt the new one or if you're using this one more than uh, the width of one of these pulleys together it'll damage it inside and you can write a C in the left cam pulley and R for right cam pulley on it. There's an L here and an R on this one. I went ahead and zapped this cam bolt out because I'm going to change the cover on the back. So it's got a hole busted in it. Make sure your crank sprocket keyway isn't wore out. That's nice. These cam seals don't look like they've got any evidence of leaking. The water pump's not been leaking. It's not loose, it's free. Either pulley seem pretty good. I'll go ahead and take this tensioner bolt out. This tensioner plunger needs pushed down on the tensioner arm and stick it in the press. Always keep it facing vertical. Look for excess wear on the pin or the pin in the block if you're reusing it. A little bit of dampness doesn't indicate a problem, but if there's a puddle wheel laying there, it should take 30 pounds of force to hold this pin into place. If it's if it gives too easy, replace it. The whole tensioner, but this needs compressed down over a three to five minute period, real slow until this center hole is in line with this hole and the other hole and then stick a two millimeter allen wrench through it to hold it or drill bit whatever to hold the pin down but keep it upright you say just slowly push this down. If you do it fast, you can damage the inside of it. Once that hole's level, feed a two millimeter Allen wrench or a sixteenth inch drill bit through there. And if you're reusing it, check your pulley for any roughness. Or looseness, any any roughness at all to it, it needs replaced. It'll fail. Check all the pulleys for any roughness. It should be smooth, noise-free. Any 
any skipping or roughness or if the pulleys are loose while they're fastened down they should be replaced or it will fail early I've got all the timing marks lined up with their respectable locations. Now to put that belt on there, I just left, I left all these pulleys loose. And put this one on the last, stuck the tensioner pulley in there. And left the Allen wrench in it, holding the tensioner plunger down. I got the belt, stuck some clothes pins on the pulley, lined it up here on the crankshaft, fed it around through here, and then inserted this pulley. All of these 14 millimeters tightened down to 30 foot pounds. Just a little bit under, but it's irrelevant. 29 all for the tensioner arm, the pulleys. Once you get uh, all these pulleys tightened down, pull this Allen wrench. I rotated the motor over two full turns, and that centers the bell on all the pulleys. And this tensioner plunger should not stick up out of there more than six millimeters. Uh, that's about the width of a inside of a quarter inch socket. So if you see a quarter inch or six millimeters sticking up out of that, the belt's probably shot or one of the pulleys is super loose or the water pump or something's wrong and you need to replace it either the belt or whatever's slacking it up that arrow is just past the center of the cam sensor actually If you had the cam sprocket bolts out for whatever reason, they tighten to 58 foot pounds. I'm just using a 10 millimeter bolt head as a wedge to hold the sprocket in place. Once all your bolts are tightened down on the pulleys and camshafts and whatever you had loose in there, Stick the cover on, make sure the rubber seals down and in place. There's a section there. Stick the rubber seal on if any fell off. And stick the passenger side cover on. And snug all the bolts down and put the driver side cover on. Once you got your timing cover on, slip your crankshaft pulley on, line the keyway up, put the crank bolt in it. These threads should have some oil on them, just a light amount. And tighten the crank bolt down to 132 foot pounds. Or put it back on your mark if you made one. Good enough. If you're putting a used motor in, just look it over pretty good. See the head 
valve cover bolt holes has been repaired, aluminum welded. But these two here. Hopefully there's no oil leak there. And they pry around on the bell housing and gold it up. Right there. You want your bell housing flat as a pancake. No gouge marks on it. I'm going to take a file and shave the humps off of that. Check for any other places, irregularities, or anything else broken, any leaks.